Hey guys, I want to go over how I made this pack basket out of a cat litter bucket. I went with the cat litter bucket just because of its shape. But we're going to make one of these really fast. Alright, first things first, cat litter bucket. And, and remove the handle. It just pulls off. If you, I mean, it's kind of hard to do, but you pull straight down and it pops off. Because we're going to go from this way to this way. So you still have a handle on it when we're done. But any bucket would do. I just think these things ride better on the back. So you need a bucket and some sort of webbing material. These are pieces of conveyor belt that we're going to be throwing away. You could probably pull a truck with this stuff. I mean, it's really tough. The length of your webbing is going to depend on your body structure, of course. You know, a 100-pound guy probably can use shorter webbing than a 200-pound guy. You know, common sense stuff. But you'll need some webbing. Hardware. Pretty simple. You can probably make one of these things for less than five dollars. Way less than five dollars, really. Probably got this stuff laid around your home to do it or in the shop. Um, I put red Loctite on my stuff just because I don't want it coming loose. So that's helpful. And fastener size is up to you also. I went with um, some 3-8 stuff just because I can put a bigger washer on it. And these are about three quarters of an inch long. I cut um, I cut some bolts off to make them that length. So you don't necessarily have to have them this short, you know. But anyway, you'll also need 3-8 drill bit and drill. And the rest of it is um, pretty simple. And I just kind of wing it as I go. But turn on its back. And in this section right here, I put the first strap. And I just lay the strap on there and drill straight. And then the hardware, what I'm going to do is I'll leave the, just the bolt on the outside. Because this stuff's pretty, pretty tough stuff. You won't pull through it, but just put it in there. And put your hardware on the back. I'm just going to put it on hand tight to get it going. My roosters are about to come over here and start fighting and be done probably. Just hand tight. Then the bottom section, I just cut off about an inch, I guess. Not really cut off, just pull off an inch and fold it back on itself. That's a little more than an inch, but it just doubles up. So make sure it's straight. Turn it upside down. Pay attention to all this dirt on here. This is, well, was what I quench my material in when I'm smithing. But put it on here at an angle. Then same thing as last time. It's pretty tight, but that's okay. You don't want it to be all loosey goosey. You have to turn it upside down. Still got some oil on the bottom of it, but that's all right. Just get it hand tight. Sorry, I don't know how. Not a very good. 
Listen at the deer. Crazy deer. They come right up in the yard. Probably mad at me because I'm trying to videotape some stuff. My rooster again. Doing rooster stuff. Bunch of deer. Listen to them. This deer season. What are they going crazy about? Listen at them. Coyotes ain't trying to kill another one. They killed one not too far from where all that mess is going down. Anyway, okay. Man, they are freaking out. Trying to build a backpack and the deer's going crazy. Anyway, just use this, you know, and judge about the right distance. Hold it over on itself again. Listen at that. Is that not crazy? The joys of living in the country. Never heard one do that squilly thing. It's pretty cool. Anyway, that's a bonus. Not only do you get to learn how to build this pack frame, you can hear strange deer noises. Rooster, are you thinking about getting in picture? The rooster is like right there out of frame. Listen to deer. I don't know what the story is with that. I'll walk out there after I get all this stuff put together. Anyway, just hand tight the way I did these. Then take a wrench, tighten them down as tight as you want them. Not too tight though, because I mean it's you know it's plastic. You could possibly pull it through itself. Those guys better be glad dinner's done. All right, go out there and see what the dealio is. That's it. You now have a pack basket. Oh, rooster fight. Here they go. Run away, rooster. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to put a handle on here. I almost forgot. To put the handle on, you need um, 7 sixteenths. Which will be it. And then I just kind of eyeball it. Get it about in the middle. And that's all you're doing. Just through the outer layer. Just like that. And then, razor knife, I use these at work. So just come a little bit off the center. Cut an angle. Whoops, sorry. Let's see what it looks like. Like that. Same thing on the other side. Yeah. Take your handle. Ta-da! There you have it. How I made my pack basket.